This is Joanne Allenbaugh at the Farm Progress Show for Farms.com. I'm talking to Mike Leach, who is a technical support representative for Syngenta, and we're here in the Syngenta tent. Uh, Mike, tell us about these soybeans and what you're visiting with growers about here at the show. Well, a lot of what we're doing here under the Syngenta tent at Farm Progress Show is showing our technologies. In this case, what I'm, what I'm next to is our demonstration on uh, soybean weed management. Now, all of the weeds that, that are planted in these boxes are glyphosate resistant, and we've got two populations, one that is giant ragweed and one that is tall waterhead. They're from known populations of glyphosate resistant weeds. So, on my right here, you can see this is what we say you shouldn't do. Now, this is only one pass of glyphosate, our touchdown brand, um, and we do not want to rely or over-rely on glyphosate. So the one way to do that is to utilize a pre-emergent soil apply or a soil active herbicide. Over here on my left is our product called Prefix, a combination of dual and reflex or espitolachlor and promescent. That's a soil applied residual herbicide with both grass and broadleaf activity. And when we combine it with a late season treatment of glyphosate, we actually see very good results. Now in the foreground back in here, you can see that is our untreated check and you can see our population of both water hemp and giant ragweed. So again, our recommendation, our base, is always use something pre-emergent soil applied. In this case, Prefix or another brand of ours would be Boundary. Now, we understand that there's a lot of customers that that's just not possible. The springtime with planting corn, spraying corn, and all the other things, they can't get a pre-emergent herbicide put on their soybean crop. So we have another alternative. So on past this, where we're relying on glyphosate down at the end, we're using a new product called Flexstar GT. Now again, we're bringing in additional modes of action. We're using a product in combination with glyphosate that gives us residual broadleaf control. It's still in a two-pass program. The Flexstar GT would go on early post, eliminate that flush, give about a month residual on broadleaves, and then before the weed or the soybean crop closes, we might go in and clean it up again with one last shot of touchdown or glyphosate just to pick up some escapes. But either way, we're going to suggest to a customer use a pre-emergent herbicide, use a herbicide that is grass and broadleaf, broad spectrum, and plan on a two-pass program. That's where we're going to see the best yields. And you can manage these glyphosate resistant populations. Mike, thank you for joining us. Thank you.